What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spider Cal coming at you one more again on the Poor Man's Channel. I just want to um, turn this radio down. I just want to um, touch base with you guys real quick. Uh, let you guys know what I plan on doing, and uh, I want to also uh, talk about just like negative energy, negative people, and like being true to yourself and staying strong and vigilant when it comes to the things you want, you know, in life. Um, so yeah, I plan on, or I've started, cause it's the first, I'm starting today, uh, to do, I wanna do a 30 day water fast. But at the bare min, what is going on with this lady? At the bare minimum, uh, if I can't make it all the way to 30 days, then 20 days. You know, um, no. If I can't do 30, I would like to make it to 28. And if not 28, then 20. Right? I want to make it to either 20, 28. And hopefully 30, you know, starting today, water fasting. And the reason why, you know, I want to I wanna water fast, you know, I did all my research. You know, I was all over Google for a long time, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I've learned a lot about, you know, the whole water fasting and, you know, how to do it right. And the proper way to get off of it so you're not, you know, you don't um, ruin your benefits, everything that you achieve. Uh, originally... <coughs> <clears throat> I didn't know anything about water fasting or fasting period. I just thought it was just a, a religious practice, you know, that certain people do based on, you know, whatever religion, you know, that you practice. That's what I thought. But then I found out that people fast, you know, just, you know, also to lose weight, you know, and maintain good weight loss and to cleanse or, or to cleanse, you know, or to have brighter and clearer skin because you know uh from what i read uh water fasting helps clear up your skin makes your skin glow you all brighter you know your your mind is clearer um a lot of crap that's still caked up in our bodies from from eating you know different things for, for like months and even years you know still in our bodies and from water fasting uh we flush all them toxins and stuff out, you know. So it's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of great benefits to water fasting. But just like anything else, if you abuse it, of course, you know, there's gonna be some repercussions. So when I started the whole fasting thing, I started intermittent, you know. I, I learned about it, read about it, you know, I even look at up uh, YouTube videos about it, talk to other people. Um, that's done it, you know, I, ha I have a friend that knows about it, you know, uh, and he used to do it, you know, for like two or three days, I believe, you know, for his religion, you know, I don't really know too much about that, you know, like why they do it for their religion, how long they supposed to do it, you know, I'm just doing it, you know, for, you know, strictly for losing weight. And uh, when I decided to actually start doing this was back in June, this past June. You know, I decided to start intermittent fasting, you know, because a quick history of me, you know, I, I enjoy working out. You know, I'm a power lifter, super set type of dude, you know, but I'm a type of person where I could go into the gym on a Monday, lift, and then by Wednesday or Thursday, I look like I was taking steroids. I don't know what it is about my body like why my body reacts to lifting that way, but I can get big quick and strong even quicker. You know, I never understood it, but that's just what it is. Sorry guys, you know, anyway. But for some reason, I can't burn fat, you know? You know, I, I have a hard time. I'm not gonna say I can't burn fat. I have an extremely hard time burning fat. I have to go through extreme measures. I'm not even going to begin to sit here and tell you guys all the things I used to do back when I was like 22 years old to now just to burn some fat. 
you know like i could get big but i didn't like you know i have like a little 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 love handle thing action going on a little love handle muffin top action going on nothing crazy but it's also nothing that i would want on my body you know and i just want to be healthier and stronger anyway but my main goal is to burn the fat and when i started the intermittent fasting you know it worked great it was awesome you know because not only <clears throat> was i doing the intermittent fasting but i was also you know doing my normal workout regimen while fasting so and i you know researched that you know you can you can still do your intense workout at a fasted state so that's what i was doing you know i was intermittent fasting and I had an eating window. What I was doing was uh, I would eat from 1, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. That was my window. I would eat whatever between that um, particular time. And then the rest of the day, I'm fasting, you know. And it was surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. You know, like, I, I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Like, I have the problem where <clears throat> I'm not, I can't properly engage how much food I'm supposed to eat before I get full. Like every time I think like this is enough for me, it turns out to be a little bit too much, you know. And then like I'm not full, I'm uncomfortable and miserable because I'm stuffed, you, you know. And I'm just I'm just tired of feeling like that, you know. And doing the intermittent fasting and eating between one and four, it helped helped a lot, you know. And, and I would literally eat one meal a day, you know. But after doing that, I didn't have the desire to eat anything else, you know. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's not healthy for you. Da, da, da. I'm still getting my calories in, you know. I may not eat another meal before four o'clock, but I'll still do maybe like an insure shake or maybe like uh, maybe like munch on um, a couple of baby leaf spinach. So I do that, some baby leaf spinach or something like that. You know, I won't make like another full meal like I did that first uh, initial time during my uh, my intermittent uh, fasting window. So I, I'm, if I felt like eating anything at all, you know, I'll snack on something, munch on something real quick, you know, like the baby leaf spinach or I just drink a shake or something like that, and I'm good for the day. And I, lost, I was, the, weight, the weight was melting off of me. The weight was melting off at such an accelerated rate. I was so happy and blown back at the same time. It was wonderful. And then like uh doing all this, I discovered about water fasting, you know? So I'm like, what is water fasting? You know, and I find out, you know, water fasting for a certain period of time, you don't eat nothing, you don't consume nothing but water. That's it. You just drink water, nothing else. <clears throat> so I'm thinking to myself, I know some people and people that's in my family that's done that. Not before not for the same reasons, you know, like they literally starved themselves. Like no for like months, months. Like no food, no water either. You know, sometimes they'll drink water. Like if they got to the point where, you know, they felt a little bit too dehydrated, you know, they'll drink on some water, stuff like that. But not like the way I'm doing it. I'm doing like a gallon a day or a gallon and a half a day. You know, whatever. But I, I just enjoy water like that anyway. Water and milk, I just absolutely love. I could take a gallon of water or milk to the face. Easy. You know, I love it. But I can't drink milk because, you know, it's kind of counterproductive. But I love me some milk, man. Love water. So, like, you know, uh, I have people in my family that would just, you know, drink a glass or two of water a day just to get them by. And they won't eat anything. Most, uh, It was mostly... Uh, over depression the reason why these particular family members was not eating or drinking anything you know something was going on at that time you know and they was depressed so you know and they lost crazy weight and they looked amazing you know so I, I was reflecting back you know while reading about water fasting to those um, instances with uh, my family members so I'm like okay I'm gonna try this you know uh, I saw one video on YouTube where well, I see a bunch of videos on YouTube where a lot of people recommend, you know, um, uh, seeing a doctor, you know, uh, constantly being, uh, you know, constant communication with your doctor so the doctors can, like, you know, uh, monitor your vital signs and your health and stuff like that. Look, I got three jobs. 
if the people that know me didn't know I was from Georgia, they'd swear I was Jamaican. I used to have four, four jobs, but right now I have three jobs. I'm a CNA where I go across the state, you know, I'm a pool CNA. And what pool is, what they do is uh, at any facility, nursing home, assisted living, hospital, if they're short of employees, they'll call certain agencies and say, look, we need an X amount of CNAs to work on first, second, third shift, whatever. And my agency will call me and whoever else. And they'll be like, hey, Kelvin, you know, we got something for you. Uh, a, a nursing home at whatever town that's like an hour and a half away or something like that, or 45 minutes away or something like that. Uh, they have a first, second shift available. You know, do you want it? And if you do, which one you want? You know, and I just say yay or nay, you know, and I pick whatever shift I want. Or I could call them and like, listen, you know, I feel like working, you know, today or tomorrow. Like, can you find me something, you know, 11 to 7 or 1 on 1 or 7 to 3, you know, whatever. You know, can you find me something? And they'll go out and they'll look for something. You know, I, what I like about pool is I can work at my leisure. Like, I, I, I'm not obligated to work. I work when I'm ready to work. So those are my two jobs. Uh I, I work for two agencies and my third job is for a bus company. You know, I do that Monday through Friday and do the CNA thing, you know, every other weekend when I feel like it. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, I monitor my own vitals, you know, like even though I wasn't trained with the skills of an LPN for the years. I, I, I've done CNA work since 2009, 2010. I've been in the nursing home, the healthcare field since 2001. All the way up to now and I wasn't an official an official certified CNA until 2009 2010 one oh I have to check my certification anyway so so yeah man I, I'm gonna monitor my own vitals you know I got a lot of LPN skills because a lot of nurses don't like to do their job so they dump the uh, responsibility on CNAs and I learned a lot you know having that done to me it sucked but I learned a lot you know, so I'm monitor my own health. I'm monitor my own vitals. You know, I got my own blood pressure cuffs and uh, stethoscope and temperature. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, uh, my O2, my O2 device. You know, I got my own. You know, vital equipments. You know, to take my vital signs. So I'm a. I don't need no doctor for that. I don't believe in paying. 100 200 maybe 300 dollars to go see a doctor so he can take my blood pressure and, and whatnot and say i'm all right you know i'm not doing that not not kelvin so um i'm gonna I'm a monitor my own um vital signs and you know i'm gonna just try to make it to 30 days you know and when i started the intermittent fasting you know uh i was 253 pounds you know mind you after july maybe like in mid august you know, um, I stumbled upon the whole water fasting thing, and I, and I did the water fasting. I couldn't get up um, beyond seven days, you know. And then I tried it again, and uh, I made it to 14 days. I tried it again in uh, September, and I made it to 14 days, and I couldn't do it anymore. And I, I haven't done it since. Like, I've been, uh, you know, just on the intermittent fasting thing. And since I stopped that last time, you know, I went all the way down to 194. And that's just like, it's such a blessing. You know, it feels so good to make it down from uh, fucking two, from 253 to 194. Hold on, guys. I got to maneuver real quick. My bad. They're doing construction over here. But yeah, to make it from, to start to 253 and make it all the way down to like 194. Man, it's a blessing, man. You know, and I feel good. I feel like uh, my mind is clearer and it's sharp. Just like, you know, a lot what a lot of other people say, like, I feel great. You know, I lost a shitload of weight. I look good. You know, it's, it's good. You know, so what I plan on doing is I'm going to record my progress. I'm going to record my progress and, like, give you guys an update every Sunday, you know. Every Sunday, every week on Sunday, I'm going to give you guys an update. And I'm going to let you guys know when, uh, if I decide to break my fast, my water fast, and I crash and burn or whatever the case may be, I'll let you guys know. You know, But I'm going to try to do my best and stay strong and vigilant and go through this and do the damn thing. You know, 
So with all that being said, <clears throat> I want to talk real quick about just negative people, man. You know, like throughout my life, family, because I'm, I'm going through some family issues right now that I'm trying to help straighten out. You know, and it's really difficult. You know, like I'm, I'm really going through some stuff right now, but I'm strong enough to see through it. You know, like I, I, I refuse. I'm, I'm a stubborn motherfucker, man. I, I'm a type of person where if shit happens or a person try to do some shit to me or talk as shit about me, just because I'll be like, fuck you. I'm going to make sure I accomplish this or I do this or whatever the case may be. I'm going to go against you. I'm going to fucking rebel against whatever it is you said or whatever it is that you did. You know, it's, it's game time. You know, that's just the type of person I am. And, you know, with that being said, like when you want to do something in life that you enjoy or you got anything positive in your life that you want to pursue, or even anything curious in your life that you want to check into and pursue. Do it. Do it. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people that so quick to, to give you reasons why you shouldn't do it and find anything bad. Everybody in this planet, they can find anything bad about anything. Anything. You know, anything. I guarantee you, people will find anything bad about whatever you're doing in life just to shit on it and people misery love company like misery love company that's why i don't listen to motherfuckers like if you can't provide me with a better solution shut the fuck up you see what i'm saying like because i'm open to it you know i'm open to it let's talk about it show me why what you're suggesting is better than what i'm suggesting you know okay you're saying what i'm about to do is bad then show me why it's bad. Tell me why it's bad. You know, don't, um, excuse me, don't just tell me why it's bad. Show me why it's bad. Because I can show you articles on articles on you, Google, in Google, that I found on videos. It's a proof of why it's not bad. Unless you abuse it, you know, and you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Like with anything, if you abuse it, you know, something bad is bound to happen. That's just facts. But if I'm not, if anybody, not just me, if a person's not in the frame of mind to, like, put themselves in harm's way, you know, depending on whatever the situation um, we're talking about, then, like, why would you say anything negative? Why would you try to discourage a person to try to do something positive? Like, lose weight, you know? Like, I got friends and family, you know, when I was chunky, you know, they will Throw, throw little jokes and jabs at me, you know, you know, cracking on me or whatever from time to time. And, you know, it, it is what it is because, you know, I give as good as I get. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, you know, it bothers me that I was overweight to begin with. And the fact that someone is using that to bust jokes, you know, it's, it's still run me a certain type of way so but not to the extent where i wanted to whoop their ass just more to the extent like fuck i want to lose this fucking weight you know like damn am i really that big you know i, I gotta get this shit off me you know and one one night i was chilling with two of my boys and you know we all brought steaks to one of my boys house and other food and stuff like he was grilling and cooking and stuff and we were throwing jabs and stuff like that and he said something he won't repeat he would repeat it i got a piece of it, it was fat fat fuck some some shit like that he like he was uh he stated in a joke or whatever and his brother was laughing and stuff. I was like, what did he say? What did he, and nobody wanted to repeat it. So you know, I'm like, fuck that shit. I ain't gonna have nobody say that shit to me ever again. Ever. You know? So I'm gonna do what I gotta do. So anybody, friends or family that's talk that will try to talk against me doing this, I don't listen to them because I'm like, you know, yo, show me a better way. You know, and most people that would talk negative about what I'm planning on doing are people that I train in the gym or whatever once upon a time. I train a lot of people to get big because I can get big, no problem. I know what it takes to get big. Even if you don't have the same type of uh, genetic makeup like me, 
to just get swole in a couple of days by lifting a few weights, throwing a few weights around or whatever. You know, I know what it takes to get big. And I and I got some people big or they was on the verge of getting big. You can see the change happening and they'll stop. You know, I, for whatever reason, whatever excuse they can come up with, they'll stop. You know, so like, I don't want to hear your negative bullshit, man. You know, just be supportive. Like, I'm a type of person where I might feel some type of way about something, you know, but if you happy with it, if you like it, I love it. You know, it's, that's your life. I'm not going to, you know, unless it's something where, like, if you, for example, like, um, you drive like a dumbass, you know, you just want to, you know, uh, what do you call it, speed hounds, and you just love, so you get get behind the wheel, you just gunning it. I hate that shit. I'm, I always, you know, like, cop, slow your fucking ass down. I like, slow down. Shit like that, you know, I'll speak against. But when it comes to, like, dreams and goals, you know, even like, you know, my lady, you know, like she doesn't believe in a lot of dreams. I got a lot of dreams, you know, and there's nothing wrong with dreaming, you know. I personally would love to be a professional actor because I know I can do it. I know I can do it. You know, I find myself for years watching shows and movies and I'm reciting the uh, reciting the lines and, and the scenes and the movies and the TV shows and stuff like that. You know, I, I know I can do the shit, you know, with my own emotion and, you know, I know I can do it. But getting there is another issue altogether. But, you know, that whole acting thing, I remember speaking to my girl about it one time and, you know, she kind of like laughed at it. Most people, you know, she's not the only one. I think every female I've ever been with, like, I would giggle and laugh at. I only had one girl that was kind of like, we was on the same page and my dream actually like the dreams that i had actually made her fall you know even more in love with me at that time you know she loved the fact that i had dreams and ambition you know no matter what they were and now more than ever living in america i feel like anything's possible for anybody it don't matter what it is shit if you got dreams and ambition the sky's the limit but if you want them negative people that don't want to go left, go right, but you trying to tell other people not to move when they got uh fucking dreams and goals in mind, then for you those people, the limit is the sky. See what I'm saying? So you gotta stay away from people like that. You know, I got I'm staying clear from people like that. That's like you know, or, or at the very least, I'm not listening to them. You know. And uh, I just feel like whoever you are out there, no matter what it is, if it makes you happy, go for it, man. You know, I believe I told you guys this before. Own your truth, man. Like, go for it. If you, if you like it, if you love it, you know, do it. Don't pay any attention. No matter how hard it, you know, things in life that you love, happiness is hard. It's hard to achieve happiness because you got to work so hard. You got to work so hard. But like I was saying before, this is America, man, and in a, if in, a, in a country where Donald Trump could be president, then I could be whatever the fuck. I could be president, too. I should run next year if I cared about such bullshit like that. But I could do what I could be anything. You could be anything. We all could do and be anything if we just work hard and we just don't listen to the people that are so quick to tell us no. Or laugh at us, you know, or, or try to encourage us to stop doing what we're doing with no better solution and to get to where we want to go. You know, don't listen to those people. You know, like for example, if I was to, if I ever met The Rock, and I and I told The Rock like, yeah, you know, I, I ate a minute fast, you know, and I did um, water fast, you know, one time, and this is how I started it. This is how I got off it, you know, whatever like that. And he told me. Well, there's a better way. I will listen to him. Cause look at him. You know, I will I will listen to him. And plus he he not not only does he look amazing, but he will say, you know, I have a better way, you know, this and this and this. I will listen to that person. But don't tell me or anybody else, this is bad for you. Don't do this. Don't do that. But you don't got a better solution. So I'm just gonna st stay still and be a fat fuck forever, huh? You know, so motherfuckers like you can continue talking shit and, and busting jokes and shit like that. Nah, nah. 
guys, do what you want to do, man. Because we only got one life to live. You know, so why not be happy while we live it? You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, that's my little rant slash um, update. You know, I, I really want to, I really want to do this thing. Oh shit, there's a cop. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, I really want to do this thing and, uh, and get the benefits that I'm working towards. You know, I'm not looking to, to hurt myself. I'm not looking to look like I'm malnourished or anything like that. You know, if I feel like, if I feel like, just like the first time, because I, uh, I did, no, the first two times, because I did it, I did the water fast twice before. And the first time I did, you know, like I broke my fast because uh, like I was receiving headaches, but that was mainly because, you know, I wasn't consuming water like I was supposed to. And uh, the second time I did it, I was just ready to eat, man. You know, I was just, I was hungry and I was ready to eat. So I broke it up on the 14th day. But this time I want to, I want to get 30 days. I want to work hard to get 30 days. And the people that saw that, like, no, feel where I'm coming from or just like, you know, just positive people that support me. You know, I, I appreciate any, t any kind of support, you know, in the comment section, you know, whoever, whoever, any of you guys, any of you guys have anything positive to say. It's like much love coming from me to y'all, you know, you know, just continue to stay headstrong, you know, and do do what makes you guys happy, man. You know, don't listen to people that's not going to help you progress in life uh, or, or, or progress in health, you know, or in wisdom. You know, just, you know, just do your thing and, and, and cut off all the excess baggage. All right. Now, I didn't mean for it to be this long. Uh, I just kind of want to give you guys an up, update uh, about the water fast. But I, I guess I lost myself in a little tangent. My bad, y'all, but I'll holler at you guys later, and I'll see you Sunday. All right? Peace out.